since you haven't ruled Herman's death a homicide, don't you need a warrant to search his phone? No. Nope. He narrowed his eyes. You sure about that? I laughed. Yes, I'm sure. You really think I'd just snoop without a warrant if I needed one? Anything I've found would be useless to me in court. I simply find it hard to believe you don't need a warrant to look through his phone. I shrugged. Your Fourth Amendment rights give you privacy protections while you're alive, but most courts hold that they don't extend past your death. Huh. It could change any minute, but so far the courts seem to side with the law enforcement in these scenarios. How handy for the police. I chuffed. It's not like I'm just being nosy. Oh, I know that, Sheriff, he said, looking amused. You're far too honorable to give in to nosiness. I grabbed his foot. Are you picking on me? He wiggled, as if ticklish, and tried to pull his foot loose. Don't you dare tickle me. I lifted my brows. I thought I was the only one who was ticklish. Have I accidentally stumbled upon Dr. Maxwell Thornton's weak spot? He laughed gruffly. No, I have no weaknesses. I rubbed the pad of my thumb over his foot, noticing he gave a little shiver. None? You don't even have one weakness? He lifted his shoulder. Just you. I couldn't help but smile. You have a weakness for me? You know I do. I take nothing for granted when it comes to you, Max. I teased. Probably for the best. A tiny nudge of frustration went through me. Come on, don't do that. Do what? Pull away the minute I move toward you. I studied him, watching the confusion flicker over his features. He wrinkled his brow. I don't mean to do that. I'm glad to hear that because it's not in my DNA to pretend I don't want you. I'm not a game player. I... I know that. He grimaced. I like that about you. Do you? My heart thumped as I held his gaze. I'm glad you have a weakness for me, Max. It gives me hope. Hope. He repeated the word as if it was unfamiliar to him.